something's happening. Are you also not sure what that flashing light is indicates on your EV's dashboard? You're not the only one. Millions of people across the world have already made the switch to electric driving as EVs become more accessible and many more expected to get behind the wheel of an EV for the first time this year and they'll need to learn their way around these cars. Here's our handy guide to some of the most significant EV dashboard symbols. The electric vehicle's dashboard symbols may differ from manufacturers, making it challenging to know precisely what your electric car is trying to tell you. But thanks to an easy-to-use standard set of color codes, drivers can quickly know how serious the issue is. Green or blue symbol color codes provide information about your vehicle but are not warning signs. Amber or yellow symbols mean there is an issue with your vehicle that needs to be checked as soon as possible. The issue may become more serious if you don't get it looked at, but you don't need to stop immediately if one appears. Red symbols are the most serious warning signs. If red symbols appears on dashboard, you should stop your vehicle as soon and safely as possible to investigate and arrange for a mechanic to check. Newer electric vehicle models often come equipped with advanced dashboard displays that provide more specific and detailed information about the vehicle's status and any issues it may be experiencing. These displays can offer real-time data on battery levels, charging status, and potential problems with the electric system. While standardized symbols and color codes are commonly used for quick reference, some modern electric cars go beyond this and provide more detailed diagnostics directly on the dashboard. This enhanced capability aims to give drivers a clearer understanding of the actual problem or issue affecting the vehicle, making it easier for them to take appropriate action or seek assistance. So let's start with most common indicators. Number 1. Battery Charge Level The battery charge level allows you to monitor how much charge your vehicle has left. Depending on the make and model of your car, this may turn red or flash when your battery has reached a critical level and needs to be recharged. However, the exact behavior can vary, and some vehicles may have different ways of indicating a low battery level, such as warning lights or messages on the dashboard. EV Charging Indicator The plug and cable indicator shows that the vehicle is correctly connected to a charging socket. ready to drive. Since there is no engine under the bonnet in an electric vehicle, there's no audible sign of when they are switched on and ready to be driven. Instead of listening out for the engine revs, as you would in a standard gasoline or diesel car, a light illuminate on the dashboard to let you know. Some car manufacturers have also added the word go or ready alongside this light, but many use this icon alone. If you've turned on your car, but this light isn't coming on, you may have a problem and should check for any warning lights. Eco Mode If you're looking to get as many miles out of your vehicle, after each charge you'll want to drive in Eco Mode as much as possible. Eco Mode maximizes your EV's efficiency by restricting acceleration, which can drain your battery. Eco Mode is optional, so you should only see this symbol if it's switched on. Low battery or charging needed. This is a low battery charge warning indicator symbol. This warning light comes on when the available power in an electric vehicle's primary battery runs low. In most EVs, you will get a warning at 12% and then a red warning at 5% charge. The image is meant to invoke the low fuel warning light in gasoline powered vehicles. Since we live in a world used to gasoline pumps, the indicator image is the familiar pump but with an electric plug at the end of the hose. Limp Mode An electric car's limited power dashboard light is a warning sign that informs the driver of an issue that is impairing the vehicle's performance. The light is frequently accompanied with a warning message on the car's display panel or a beep sound and may be indicated by a tortoise symbol. The limited power light generally denotes an issue with the vehicle's power system or energy management system that is lowering the power available to the electric motor. Low battery charge. High battery temperature. Problems with the charging system. Issues with the electric motor or power control unit. 
wiring problems or loose connections are the few typical causes of the limited power light. Serious trouble or fault indicators. Battery temperature warning. The battery symbol will light up in EVs when the battery temperature is high. Electric vehicle batteries operate optimally within a specific temperature range and extremes in temperature, either too hot or too cold can impact their performance, efficiency, and overall lifespan. If this icon appears, it's recommended to safely pull over, stop, and switch off the car for a while. We recommend to take your vehicle to an approved garage as soon as possible to prevent further battery issues. Electrical fault. If there's an exclamation mark over the image of a car, you're being warned about an electrical system issue. This can involve either the batteries, motors, or wiring. For an amber warning, take the car to an approved dealer or workshop to get checked over. If the symbol is red, the car may end up shutting down, reducing available power. Special feature indicators. Regenerative braking system. RBS. The RBS dashboard light on an electric vehicle typically indicates the status or performance of the regenerative braking. Regenerative braking is a feature available on EVs that converts the kinetic energy generated during braking into power, which is then used to recharge the battery. Pedestrian warning. Although this is now appearing in both EV and IC engine vehicles, this warning light appears on a dashboard in order to prevent an accident from happening. The light informs the driver that they must brake immediately in order to avoid hitting a pedestrian. External sound system warning. Electric cars are much quieter than gasoline or diesel cars, making them hard for pedestrians and other road users to hear. An external sound system is used by EV and hybrid vehicles, to alert pedestrians and other road users to avoid any accidents. It emits an electronic sound at slow speeds to alert people nearby. If this warning light appears, then this system is no longer working. Hybrid Dashboard Symbols E-Mode or EV-Mode EV mode uses solely electrical power, which means fewer emissions and greater efficiency. EV mode is only going to be used at like really low speeds like parking lot, traffic jam type of thing, and only whenever you have enough charge on the battery. If you're driving in an area where you need to be quiet, press the EV button to run the electric motor only. EV mode allows you to operate your vehicle as a fully electric vehicle at speeds up to about 25 miles per hour for a limited range. Auto Glide Control, AGC. Activating Auto Glide Control enhances fuel efficiency while driving by reducing deceleration and braking disruptions through coasting. This helps to enhance the range. It appears as the acronym AGC inside a green background shaped like a leaf. Like Eco Mode, AGC can be turned on and off by the driver. Dashboard Symbols on Tesla. It would be remiss to discuss electric vehicle dashboards without specifically mentioning the current worldwide leader in the electric space, Tesla. These indicator lights are also present in both gasoline and diesel cars, which I've previously provided explanations for these lights in my dashboard warning lights video, which you can check out here. Now I am going to give you a quick review of what these lights are trying to tell you. Starting with parking brake light. It means a parking brake fault is detected. This indicator light means the parking brake is manually applied. An ABS, anti-lock braking system fault is detected. A brake system fault is detected, or the brake fluid level is low. Low beam headlights are on. High beam headlights are on. High beam headlights are currently turned on, and auto high beam if equipped, is ready to turn off the high beams, if light is detected in front of Tesla model yes. Parking lights are on. Front fog lights, if equipped. Adaptive front lighting, if equipped. Electronic stability control systems. Airbag safety. Vehicle hold is actively applying the brakes. Tire pressure warning. 
A door or trunk is open. A seat belt for an occupied seat is not fastened. On a rear-wheel drive vehicle, the traction control system has been turned off, or on an all-wheel drive vehicle, slip start has been enabled. This light appears when some of the energy stored in the battery may not be available due to cold weather conditions. During these cold weather conditions, charging rates may also be limited. If Model S is plugged in, you can heat your battery by turning on climate control with the mobile app. The snowflake icon disappears when the battery is sufficiently warm. In true Tesla fashion, a less is more approach limits the indicator lights to the most simple and necessary. As you can see in the image, all icons are pretty standard. One icon that is more unique and worth pointing out is the active air suspension indicator. Tesla's self-leveling air suspension is unique compared to many other vehicles, and its icon is one that Tesla owners should be aware of. Tesla's air suspension is a feature available in some of their vehicles that allows the driver to adjust the height of the vehicle using an air-based system. The air suspension system enables the driver to adjust the ride height of the vehicle. This can be particularly useful in different driving conditions, such as raising the car for better clearance over obstacles or lowering it for improved aerodynamics on the highway. If a fault is detected that reduces the performance of the air suspension system, this amber indicator light displays. If a fault is detected that disables the air suspension system, a red indicator lights up on the instrument panel. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you found this helpful, consider sharing it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more videos like these.